subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel pixel 3 xl camera comparison in this video we're simply going to solely focus on the cameras with tons of samples both night and day i'm going to leave iphone 10s max and google pixel 3 xl at the bottom of each photo so you can see which one is which objectively judge them for yourself and decide which one is better for you that's all for me if you guys enjoy this video click the like button for me subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much for watching nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well and enjoy Okay, so here is the iPhone XS Max camera from the front, and it looks pretty similar in terms of the width distance it is from me. You can see, taking a look around, how it does here. And let me go ahead and run and give you an idea of the stabilization from the front. No tripod, no nothing on each of these phones. This is basically what you can expect for the iPhone XS Max. So what is up guys, this is the Pixel 3 XL from the front facing camera at 1080p resolution. I want to go ahead and spin around so you can kind of see how it does with the things in the background. It's pretty close to my face. Let me go ahead and run a little bit so we can kind of see how that stabilization does from the front. And you can see, there we go right there. We're going to go ahead and switch over now to the iPhone XS Max and see what kind of results it can produce. Okay guys, so here is the iPhone XS Max video sample, 4K 30 audio coming directly from the phone itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at those clouds and see what we get on the far zoom for its dynamic range. And the iPhone XS Max can zoom just a little bit further in than the Pixel 3 XL. You can see it get a little bit shaky at the farthest zoom. Coming back over here, we are going to zoom in on this tree now and see the kind of detail we get at the full 6X. So they're looking rather identical. To me, I think the angle looks a little bit wider here for the 10s Max. Let's go ahead now and run and see the kind of stabilization we get for the iPhone 10s Max. Looks pretty stable to me, handheld, no gimbal. Let me know your thoughts down below.
All right, guys, so here is the Google Pixel 3 XL audio coming from the phone, handheld. There is no tripod, no gimbal, nothing like that. This combines OIS and EIS stabilization on board. I'm gonna go ahead and look at these clouds to see how it does with the dynamic range. And you can see they look fantastic from my point of view, not sure how it's looking on your end. Let me go ahead and turn it around and come in on this tree to kind of see how it does on the far zooms right there and it looks pretty good. I'm going to come back out now and we're going to do a little bit of a run test to see how that stabilization performs in movement in case you're trying to catch something in action. And you can see pretty good stuff here for the Pixel 3 XL. Okay, so there's a plane going by. I want to see if I can capture that here for the 10s Max at the 6X. This is where you can really see that phones still do not have that of a zoom camera. But at least you can still make out what it is right there. Let's go ahead and try the Pixel 3 XL now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and zoom in now on the Google Pixel 3 XL. Zooming all the way in, it looks a little sharper than it did for the 10s Max. Although it can't go as far, I can make out easier that that is a plane. So, looks like you're going to get better quality on the zoom for the Pixel 3 XL at the furthest distance.
Okay, so here is some front-facing video of the Pixel 3 at nighttime. You can kind of see how the noise levels are on the device. Let me go ahead and move just a little bit so you can kind of see the stabilization. Pretty smooth overall. And this is the audio quality you're going to get as well from the Pixel 3 at nighttime. Let's go ahead and switch it over now to the iPhone XS Max. Okay, so here is the front-facing video of the iPhone XS Max. Let's go ahead and move it around just a little bit so you can see. And we are going to move a little bit. There's a train coming. You can see that's how it does with the stabilization and audio coming directly from 